Today, it's easy to have drinking water straight from the tap. So easy that one forgets it hasn't always been that way. Up until the 19th century, one could come across carriers delivering water to homes in larger cities. It wasn't until 1853 that the Compagnie Générale des Eaux, our ancestor, was created. Thanks to that, we could finally supply more populous French cities, and later, European ones. Pioneers. The other priority was the fight against unsanitary conditions. What to do with wastewater? Or waste. Here again, there is an entire network to set up. And quickly, trash pickers are tasked with collecting rubbish. Pioneers. As cities expand, the first public transportation emerges. Initially powered by steam, then by electricity. Later on, mechanically powered vehicles also facilitate waste collection. Pioneering once again. Ooh. Ah. Then comes the development of district heating. And by the early 20th century, water, waste, and energy, all of Veolia's activities are already consolidated. Of course, over time, networks modernize and new industries emerge. They need to be supported in order to manage their waste, reduce their pollution, and optimize their energy performance. And Veolia takes on the name we know today everywhere in the world, always innovating and serving the common good, pioneering. But, there is a but. Humanity is gradually realizing that its activities have an impact on the environment. There's an urgent need for ecological transformation. Veolia now has three guiding principles. Decarbonize, depollute, regenerate. Thanks to our solutions, 111 million people are provided with drinking water. 44 million megawatt hours of energy are produced worldwide each year. And 61 million metric tons of waste are treated. And all of this has allowed us to avoid 14 million tons of CO2 equivalent. Today, we celebrate 170 years of innovation. But the story does not end here. Imagine. Imagine a world with a negative carbon footprint. A world where microalgae fed with CO2 are transforming into next generation fuel. Imagine that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable, reconciling human progress and environmental protection. 50% of the solutions are already here. The other half remains to be invented. Let's continue this journey and keep turning the impossible into possible.